Well, hey there, welcome. Today we are gonna build a cross, a uh, traditional cross. And, well, actually, we're gonna learn how. And um, hopefully it comes out well, and I'll share my experience with you. And um, so what I've learned is that a traditional cross is, the height is twice the width. So the width is one half of how high it is. And where you place the cross, um, the horizontal part of the cross, um, is one-fourth of the total height. So let me know if this is right or wrong, but um, from my research, this is what I got, and this is what we're going for. So let's get into it. We have, a, back behind me is a seven-foot high piece of cedar. It's a four-by-four. And let's pick up this bad boy and let's be, let's uh, get this started. Yeah, so this is it. Uh, it smells nice. Nice piece of wood here. This is a uh, piece of cedar that we're gonna go with. So yeah, let's grab this here and lay it lay it down on our surface. We're on our work surface. Let's get this thing going. Oh. Okay, get this right here. Uh, there we are. And So what we're going to do first is measure the, the actual height of the cross. Um, I had this cut at Home Depot for me, which was makes the whole process a lot easier, both the height and the width. So we're going to measure it and make sure that it is true to what I uh, um, to the dimensions that I'm hoping to uh, to create here. So let's measure this thing. actually six foot eleven inches so the guy at the store cut it incorrectly well let's measure this guy here um, so it would should be three and a half feet if he did it correctly uh, let's check it out yeah so I'm not sure exactly how that happened but the the employee at the Home Depot cut it incorrectly. So I asked for seven feet and it's six foot 11. So we'll just, we'll just make some adjustments on our measure on our measurements. So, but the, the, the width is actually 3.5 or three foot six inches. So that's good. This is going to be perfect. So those are the dimensions basically. So height is twice the measurement of the width and you want to place the horizontal piece um, one fourth from the top. So let's get this thing started. Right, so this is 83 inches in height. Uh, so we're going to divide that by four. And so that is 20.75 or 20 and three-fourths of an inch. So we're gonna find that here and mark it with our... So I got my two notches cut. I'm pretty confident about the measurements. And so let's get this. 
get it in here. Wow, that's close. Wow, that's close. <laughs> that's looking pretty close. There's a tiny gap in between these two cross boards, but I couldn't ask for more for a better result than that. So guys, here's the finished, well it's not really finished, I'm going to put a stain on there and there's a slight gap in one of the areas here, you can see right here. I'm kind of disappointed in that, but overall I'm really happy with the turn, with the uh, outcome. Um, the cross, the proportions are accurate, uh, the proportions look good. Here, let me go forward a little bit. Um, yeah, the proportions look great. And the crossboard is horizontal. It's, so that's going to that's gonna look real nice wherever it lands.